Hey everybody, welcome to another iOS development tutorial. In this video, we're going to tackle the subject of how to do in-app email. I'm sure you've all used applications uh, in iOS that have some kind of functionality where when you tap a button, it opens up a mail window and you can type a message and then send that back to the developer. Uh, so perhaps you're leaving feedback uh, about your experience of using their app and things like that. So it's a pretty standard piece of functionality that you'll see a lot of developers include and here we're gonna cover just how they implement that right so what I've got up on screen is of course a simple application that I wrote earlier uh, that has one view and a button in it when I tap this button I get this mail interface where I can then um, notice that there's already a uh, the two fields already populated as is the CC the BCC the subject and there's some text in here and we've included an image um, I can then of course uh, click into the space and then just type some stuff and hit send and that sends the this particular email to the email address is specified so there we go so that's essentially how this application is going to work um, so what I'm going to do here of course is um, maybe move the simulator off screen I'll just actually quit the iOS simulator and jump back to Xcode I've already got um, a new project just about set up uh, you'll notice that I've already got to file new project and I'm being prompted to now choose the template that I want uh, since this is a simple application I'm just going to select the single view application template I also meant to point out the version of Xcode that um, I am currently running I'm running version 4.5.1 and um, we will be targeting this application to be for iOS 6 so just to get that out of the way um, in any case I'm going to select single view application I am going to call this in app email YT and uh, we will set the device to be iPhone and I'm going to leave use automatic reference counting checked hit next it's going to ask me where I'd like to save this file and I'm just going to save it on my desktop hit create and Xcode should be setting up our project any second here so uh, we'll give it a couple seconds to finish its indexing which should uh, be just about done here and we will be st uh, getting started right now okay so first thing we gotta do is select the name of the project come over to the central area and you'll notice that there are a couple different tabs we want the build phases tab so we select that and then you'll notice here there are a couple different accordions the one we want is called link binary with libraries so expand that particular accordion and you'll of course notice that there's a couple different frameworks already included and those just come straight out of the box when we choose that particular single view template we now want to add another framework to be able to send this email the framework we want is called message UI so here it is so message UI framework is what we want select that and hit add and that adds it to your project now let's jump back to our view controllers implementation file and be sure to import the header file there um, so we've got exactly what we need and I'm going to import message UI UI.h there we go command s to save and we are good and in fact I am in the view controller uh, implementation file and I'm actually gonna move this line of code I meant to include it in the header file so I'm gonna come back here and put it here so that was an accident uh, so be sure to put it in the header file although you can also put it in the implementation file if you so desire okay now with this done what we want to do next is we are also going to need to set this particular class as being the um, MF mail compose view controller delegate and the reason we do that is there are certain um, events that occur so when if the user cancels the mail or um, it fails there are certain events that we can react to and we can react to them within this class as long as we've explicitly stated that we will conform to this MF mail compose view controller delegate uh, notice that there was another option that came up called message compose um, so we want to stick with the mail compose view controller delegate okay with this done let's go ahead and maybe create a property that we can use so we'll say at property non-atomic type here strong 
and I'm going to call this it's going to be an MF mail compose view controller object we're just going to call this um, what should we call this maybe we'll call this my mail command s to save of course we have to also do the add synthesize to make sure we can use the setters and getters like we want to so we'll just call my mail here command s to save and we are good to go okay now within our view did load method we can actually begin doing all the different steps we need um, to be able to um, use this and actually I'm sorry what we really need to do is we want to trigger that uh, particular uh, mail window to come up when we've clicked a button so um, what I said just now was incorrect we don't really want to do it in the view did load method we actually want to jump over to our view controller nib file and what we want to do here is drag a button onto the screen and maybe we'll change it so it's a little bit more intuitive we'll call it feedback just by uh, clicking into it and then changing that text set that up and then with our assistant editor open which is this little button up towards the top uh, that looks like a tuxedo uh, select that and then we are going to select our button here right click and drag a connection to our view controller file now the connection is actually going to be an action and we're just going to call this um, let's just call it send the feedback because that's really what we're trying to do and everything else looks good we just hit connect and there we are alright so now I can go back to my standard editor do a command s to save of course and jump back to our view controllers implementation file now this is the method where we actually want to instantiate um, our MF mail compose view controller and set up certain values within it okay so let's let's get started so, so we want to do some setup so the way we do that we'd say my mail is and if you remember it's an MF mail compose view controller object so we're just going to do an alloc and a standard init on it and that's to save that we also want to explicitly state that once more that the delegate for this particular object is going to be the class we're working in so we just set it to self right with that done we can now do some uh, busy work which is we want to maybe set the subject so we'll say set the subject for this particular value and so we'll say my mail we will set the subject and we can set it to an n string value so let's just set it to something like my app feedback we'll just assume that's the name of our app it's called my app um, we can also set the recipient so if we want to pre-populate who this email will get sent to um, we can do that right here now there is a method that we can call called set to recipients but the problem there is the uh, parameter takes an NS array object so what we need to do is actually set up an NS array that contains a list of all the email addresses that we want this to go to so the way we can do this we'll say two recipients we'll say NS array so let's go ahead and create one and what do we want to call this let's just call it two recipients that seems to be so this will be an NS array alloc and we're gonna in it the same thing with objects and we'll just make these NS string values so we'll say maybe uh, email one at example.com and we'll maybe add another one here we'll say email two at example.com and I should be all set here I know we're getting an error but that's really because we need to put a semicolon there okay with that done let's make some space for ourselves I've got a little bit more typing to do okay now with the NS array created we can actually call that method so we can say my mail and we can say set to recipients and this time like I said it accepts a parameter of NS array and we just set that NS array parameter to be the two recipients NS array that we just created alright so if you sort of get the idea in terms of what we're trying to do and how we set the recipients value turns out you can set the to uh, the the BCC which is the blind carbon copy or the carbon copy values for this particular um, MF mail composed view controller object the exact same way so let's maybe do those as well real quick 
So we'll say CC recipients. And what I'm going to do here is just to save time, I will just copy and paste all of this again. Of course, I will get errors because of the fact that this is a read declaration. And I will change this to CC recipients. We'll maybe change this to email three and email four. And there we go. Those errors go away. And then we can, of course, do the blind carbon copy. So BCC recipients. And we will do the exact same thing, except we'll change this up one more time to BCC recipients. And we will change this to email five and email six. Set two recipients. We want to change this, of course, to BCC recipients. So that gets used. Command S. And then, of course, all our warnings go away again. Now, we may also want to add some text to the message body. So let's say add some text to the message body. Um, and the method that we can use to do that is called set message body and it takes it has a second um, set message body is HTML is the name of the method and it takes two parameters uh, as you can probably guess the text that we add to the message body needs to be an NS string so that's really what we have to do first is create the NS string so we'll create an NS string object we will call it uh, sent from and I'm going to set this to just a simple little NS string that says email sent from my app. Command S to save it. Now we can call this method called my mail, um, or we can call a method call the method called set message body on our my mail class uh, object, and we set the first parameter to send from. And is HTML just takes a boolean value. Um, we can say yes if we like and do this command s to save okay now we may also want to do things like adding an attachment and we can certainly do that as well so we can maybe attach an image that's already in our bundle just to pretty up the email a little bit so I can say um, include an attachment and the way we do that is first of all we're gonna have to create a UI image and um, we'll create a UI image actually back this up real quick I probably should import the image I want to use first so I'm going to add a file that actually exists on my desktop and let's see if I can find it real quick it's just called tag.png don't forget of course if you're importing something to copy the items into the destination groups folder once that's done now I can actually go back in and I'm going to create a UI image. I'm going to call this one tag image because that's what my image is a picture of. And we'll say this is going to be a UI image and uh, it's going to be an image named and I just need to give it the name of my file which is going to be in this case tag.png alright so with that done what I can do then is create something called an NS data object and the reason we need to do this is because the method that we're going to use called add attachment data mime type file name is um, the first parameter it takes is an NS data object so we actually have to use that and we're going to call this image data seems to be a name that makes sense okay and then what we can do from here is we can say, um, instead of calling a method, we can just say UI image JPEG representation of whatever value we want to pass it. So it takes two parameters, of course. One is UI image type image. And guess what? We're just going to pass it tag image because that's what we just created. And CG float, uh, it's a compression quality value. It's a float value. I'm just going to set it to 1.0. Um, the image I'm including is pretty small, so there shouldn't be any problems there. And then we can actually call the mes method that we want. So we can say my mail, add attachment data, and there's our method. And you see the first uh, parameter is an NS data value, and we just created one, so we can just pass that in. Uh, the mime type is going to be um, an NS string, but we want to set it to image slash JPEG. So that describes what kind of a file it is that we're including. And then um, the file name itself will just give it the name of tag and the command s to save. Great. 
and so we are just about done here now we can display the view controller right so what we might do here is we'll say self present view controller now in the past we might have used this particular method called present modal view controller and then we just tell it what the view controller actually is but in this case what we want to do is we want to present the um, use the new updated method which is this one and it's actually pretty easy to use the only thing that throws people off sometimes is that this uses blocks um, which is sort of a way of including executable code or maybe if you can think of it it's like having a parameter that has code in it um, or it's like if you've got a function body imagine being able to pass the entire function body um, as a parameter as well um, so that's probably a crappy explanation in terms of what what uh, blocks are but there's I'm sure plenty of tutorials out there but in any case we won't even be using it uh, really for this particular method so let me just go ahead and set this real quick uh, the view controller we're gonna pass is of course my mail because that is an example of our um, MF mail composed view controller so that is exactly what we want to pass the animated will just set it to yes we do like animations and the completion we can since we don't really have any blocks that we want to execute we're just gonna hit set that to no command s to save and this will now display the uh, the body okay so having done that we can actually in theory hit command R and run this uh, with very little problem so give it a couple seconds to come up in the simulator here and should be coming up any second now let's see here da, 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 da. let me see if I can help it on its way and looks like it's um, it's gonna take it a couple seconds and here we are 